hi this is the my beginning of november grocery haul i went to aldi and kroger and then i also went over to joanne fabrics and as soon as we get all the stuff put away olivia and i are going to go over to the dollar uh, general so that will be tacked on to this video as well uh, i'm going to go ahead and get started i'm going to try to get all of the um all the cold stuff put away first i'm just going to unload the bags and show you what i've got as i unload them all right, I got two of these Rising Crust pizzas for Travis. I always get these for him. Um, I got two bags of chopped spinach, frozen chopped spinach, two things of thick cut bacon, two half and halves for Scott's coffee, some butter, an assortment of these thin meats for sandwiches, some thick slice, or not thick slice, deluxe slice cheese, some Parmesan cheese, two packages of ham for sandwiches, and a bag of mozzarella shredded cheese. All right, I got some more of these chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I buy these every time. This will feed us for two meals. I cook it up in my Instant Pot, and I either put them back in the freezer uh, full or solid, like not cut up, or I cut them up uh, for ease of use later on for recipes. And I got one of these pork loin roasts. These are really good. This will feed us for two meals plus lunches for $10.44. And then in this bag, I've got six dozen organic brown eggs. Oh, and also, I almost forgot this little guy. Um, I'm starting to think about what I'm going to, or how I'm going to decorate my house for Christmas this year. And downstairs in the family room, I want to do just completely woodland themed. And so I saw this little guy at Aldi. He is so cute, little raccoon. And he will be part of my decorations for Christmas downstairs. All right, I've got a bag of these uh, pretzel sticks. These are for our um, Chex Mix that I make for Christmas. Two loaves of this artisanal white bread. Three of the Everything Bagels for Travis. Two things of Oyster Crackers for soups. Some of these... Uh, beef sticks for Scott, two cans of chicken breast, some cocktail peanuts, some instant white rice, this is for Sally's dog food, and then two boxes of instant brown rice, just because it's easier. My rice cooker died a couple weeks ago and um, Olivia is not sure how to make regular rice on top of the stove. She needs to learn how to do that. So anyway, in the meantime, I got some instant rice for her to use two cans of organic black beans, and one package of the whole wheat tortillas. I got a package of paper towels, two packages of paper plates, some gallon Ziploc bags, and some aluminum foil. That's my dry goods uh, part of the haul. I got two bottles of this white sparkling grape juice, this is for Christmas morning. We like to drink this mixed with orange juice and it's really tasty. So I got that while they had it. I got some more maple syrup for my prepper pantry as well as four more cans of whole potatoes for my prepper pantry and two cans of pumpkin either for Thanksgiving baking or Sally's dog food picked up some organic bananas. Some are greener than of the others, which is good. Some tomatoes on the vine, two uh, butternut squash, and an acorn squash. This is the last of my Aldi's part of the haul. I got two packages of hamburger buns. We're gonna have chicken patty sandwiches for supper tonight. Uh, one bag of the tortilla chips that we really like. I got two boxes of these brown rice crackers. These are going to go down for Christmas. Um, we do like a cheese and cracker and meat tray and snacky type things for our lunch on Christmas Day. So that's what those are for. I got two packs of these peanut butter toast crackers. I got one for um, Scott to take to lunch and one for Travis. Um, I got some of this pumpkin spice coffee. I have no idea if it's any good or not, um, but I thought I'd give it a try and we will see. And then I picked up these thinking Olivia might enjoy making these. I will not partake, partake of this because it is 
not Trim Healthy Mama, but I'm sure the rest of the family will really enjoy those. All right, on to what I picked up from Kroger. All right, I went into Kroger to get my produce like I did last time. I just I just feel like I got better produce picking it out myself. Um, so this is mainly what I went into the store and picked up. The last time I got, uh, or these organic grapes, they were really, really good and they were gone within like a day. So I'm hoping these are just as good. I got some of these organic carrots. That was another thing that was gone very quickly. I got two more things of heads of radishes. We really enjoyed those last time. They did not have any organic um, lettuce, so I just got two heads of regular lettuce. I got Travis's regular Mountain Dew that he always pays for himself for me to get for him. And then I picked up some of these sweet tango apples. These are so good. They're not organic, but they are so good. So I got some of those. Um, all these was completely out of broccoli, so I picked up some broccoli from Kroger. I got four bags of the Simply Truth Organic. They were two bags for, I think, $4, so $2 a bag. And then they did not have any chicken strips. Um, some of the areas in our store are starting to look a little bit sparse. Hopefully it's not a, hopefully it's just a temporary thing, but anyway, all the chicken strips were gone, so that's why we're having chicken patties today instead. All right, I just got one half gallon of almond milk this time. We haven't been going through almond milk as fast as we have you know, previously. I got two things of um, coffee creamer for the guys. One is the M&Ms and one is the caramel. I got three of my ripples this time because I am using this exclusively in my coffee now. Plus we do use it to cook with on occasion and I've been cutting it really close <laughs> for the last, when I, when I was just buying two. I got some more of my unsweetened yogurt, dairy-free yogurt, two mozzarella cheese um, shreds, dairy-free. Didn't need any cheddar this time. One of our plant butters. Um, this stuff works really good for baking and Christmas baking is coming up so I'm gonna try to start stocking up on that. Uh, French fries for our supper tonight with the sandwiches and two things of turkey meatballs. I get two loaves of this honey wheat bread for the family, for Travis specifically. Oliver's playing with his toy, that's what that thumping sound is. Got another big jar of creamy peanut butter, some pizza sauce, some soy sauce, um, Olivia loved this kimchi noodles. She had bought one last time to try and she really liked them, so I got her two more. I got three cans of diced tomatoes. I thought I ordered four. There might be another can in another bag. Um, some chow mein noodles, four cans of reduced sodium chicken broth, some of these blueberry fig bars for Scott's lunch. All right, I think this is the last of my Kroger stuff. I got two of these um, brown berry seeds and grains bread. The way I get every time. Super, super, super good. I got four cans of crushed pineapple in their own juice. And then I got four boxes of this raspberry jello. There's a jello salad that I make for Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's the only time of the year I make it. My family absolutely loves it. And uh, so I make the same jello salad a month apart. <laughs> but we eat it up so fast, it's so good. But anyway, it calls for crushed pineapple and raspberry jello. That's just two of the ingredients. I've already got all the other ingredients, I'm pretty sure. Um, it calls, calls for um, cranberry sauce and mandarin oranges and nuts. But anyway, um, I wanted to make sure I had the ingredients for our traditional things that we have every year for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And then I got some dish packs for the dishwasher. All right, I'm gonna show you now what I picked up from Joanne Fabrics. I wanted to show you this one first really quick because it's for Olivia. I get her an ornament every year, her and Travis each an ornament every year, and I just thought this was adorable. So that's the one I picked out for her this year. 
So I, I think I already said in this video, I'm going to be doing my downstairs family room exclusively in woodland as much as I possibly can. And I didn't have quite enough like icy type uh, things. Uh, so I went ahead and picked up these picks. They were all 40% off. I got two of these that have this uh, snowflake, plastic snowflake on them. And they were normally... $3.99 each. I don't know the math of that, but 40% off. And then I got four of these silver snowflake picks, and these were $2.99 each. 40% off of that. And then I picked up um, these two things of cardinals. I do my tree downstairs um, in cardinals as well. It's like that pop of red color. And I thought if they had any more there or had any, I would pick up a few more. And these were $6.99 a package, 40% uh, off of that. And then I picked up these little fawns because I was thinking these were, let me show the price. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, these were $12.99 each. These little furry, realistic looking things are not cheap, but these were also 40% off. So I basically got two for the price of one almost. But anyway, I remembered I had this bigger deer back here, and I but I didn't remember that it had spots as well. I was thinking I could use that as the mama deer and these her little baby deer, her little fawns. Um, but yeah, it's got white spots. I don't know, maybe Olivia could, if she has a paint that's this color, could paint the spots, cover the spots with um, brown paint and make her the mama, the doe, and then that way she'd have her little twin fawns. But that's what I bought these for. These will stay out all year. Um, so there's that. And then the last thing I picked up was this little squirrel. They had all their fall stuff 70% uh, off, so it was super cheap. But I'm gonna turn this into a Christmas thing. I'm gonna take um, the fall color foliage off and put uh, like evergreens and then I'll probably leave the acorns and then I'll add some little bitty pine cones that I have so I'm going to turn this one into like a little winter squirrel to go down in my um, for my woodland themed Christmas downstairs and ordinarily it was $24.99 but like I said 70% off so super cheap all right we are going to grab a little bite to eat and then we're going to head to Dollar General, but for you, it'll be a snap of the fingers, and we'll be back, and I'll show you what we get from Dollar General. All right, we are back from Dollar General, and we picked up quite a few things for Christmas. Um, as I, this is probably the third time I've said this, I'm doing my basement in woodland creatures, and so this is not buffalo check. Buffalo check is actually black and red checks. This is just a gingham, I guess, but I really like this black and white. And so they had a, quite a bit of the black and white stuff there. So I got these little ornaments for $3. And then I got these. I think there's, yeah, there's three of these as well for $3. And then I picked these up because I just always like to have these on hand. Um, they didn't have the 50 count, which I'm going to get if I can find them because I use those the most of any. But I do need the 20 count sometimes as well. So I got two with the green cord and two with the white cord. And then I got some Christmas candy for Christmas morning just for the family, some of these Christmas nougats. And then Olivia picked out this old fashioned mix. This is the kind of candy we would have when I was a kid. I remember it very fondly. I picked up two more packs of scotch tape because we always need lots of tape for Christmas, uh, wrapping Christmas presents. Um, I got these little wooden trees. They were only a dollar, and there's a set of three. I've got two packs, and I thought this would look really cute in my woodland theme. I'm not going to paint them or anything. I'm just going to leave them rustic looking. And then I picked up two of these snowflakes. I'm not going to put these on the tree. I'm going to use them other in other ways in my decor. Got two of those. And then I got some stocking stuffers. Olivia picked these out for her brother two of these Reese's peanut butter trees, some of this um, chocolate, Russell Stover's Santa chocolate, and then this Hershey's sugar cookie. 
cookie bar. Um, I don't know if he needs another hat, but everybody can use another stocking hat. So I picked him up this camouflaged hat for his stocking. And then for Olivia's stocking, she saw me get this, but I told her she has to wait. Um, she got a Rudolph, I think maybe last year or the year before, in her stocking. And then they had the Abominable Snowman, so I had to get her that for her stocking. And this, I just had to get. It's not the best quality towel in the whole world, um, but look, it's got a doxy. The only thing that would make it perfect is if this was a uh, black and tan doxy, but this is a chocolate and tan doxy like Lucy was. And then a lemon beagle, so cute. And it says, I believe, or we believe in Santa Paws. I picked this up for um, one of my coworkers. It's a it's an inside joke. I'm not going to go into it, but it's it's going to be funny when I give that to him. Um, this is a traditional thing that I give to um, a family member. So I picked those up while we were there. I got some more of these wax melts. These are for my dad's house. He really likes the unstoppable kind. Uh, then I needed a another um, what is this thing called buffer. I picked that up. These things used to be a dollar and now they're two dollars. Um, Travis needed some toothpaste and some deodorant, so I picked that up for him. Scott said he needed some shampoo, so I picked that up for him. And then I always try to pick up some peroxide whenever I'm at Dollar General, so I picked that up as well. And that is everything I got from Dollar General. All right, friends, that is my beginning of November grocery haul. And I realized I forgot to mention that I got some more of this acetone remover. It's really great for taking off my artificial, my acrylic nails. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, right now in this right here, I'm going to insert some footage I took on my drive home because our trees are in full color right now. This might be peak might be a little past peak because the leaves are really fallen too but anyway i took some footage of my drive home so i'm going to insert that here
I know a lot of you who live in the southern states or in a place where it doesn't really have seasons, so to speak, uh, enjoy seeing the snow in the wintertime and the colors in the fall. So I hope you enjoyed that little clip. It wasn't the full ride home. It's kind of challenging to film and drive at the same time. <laughs> and Olivia wasn't with me today. But anyway, uh, I did try to capture some of the best, better parts of the drive home, but uh, it was a very pleasant drive today. Thanks so much for watching this video, friends. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comments section below, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.